Hi ladies, so I guess this is a part three to my wig video. Um, so if you're curious, I did a video showing you this hair that I'm wearing. It's a wig. E. It's a wig Q Sylvia. That's the name of this wig. And um, I will put the link to the video where I introduce this wig to you because it has all the information as to where I got it, how much, etc. All the specs on it. So you can go watch that video if you want to find out more on that. I also did a video of me actually putting on the wig. So you can go and watch that video. It's really interesting because this is a full wing with a bang. But I am using it as a half wig. And to the front here, this is my hair mixed in with the bang of the wig. So if you would like to see how I did that, you can find the link to that video below as well. Um, right now, however, I wanted to come and do a hair care, well, a wig care video for you. And this is basically just um, telling you a little bit about how I care for my wigs and make them last really long to get um you know my value out of it so the first thing that you need to do well that i do is that i got a wig brush a wig brush is a brush with these spikes in it you don't really want to get a stiff brush because it um tends to be a lot harsher on the hair than this one this goes through the tangles and take them out really nicely you can get this in any hair store you can get this in pennywise i bought this in a wig store on charlotte street i can't remember the name i went there so long ago but i picked this up absolutely love it and i think that when i'm ready for another one i'm gonna go back there to get one the next thing that i use for my wigs hair care wise is that in hair city where i bought this wig i also got this oil free wig shine and this is in the brand bon bonfi natural right that's what it looks like it's a blue bottle as you can see mine is down here and i have had this um bottle for about two months now so it lasts and it's great absolutely love it it helps to keep the wig shiny but not too shiny and it looks healthy and everything like that i even spray a little bit of this in my hair sometimes because you can use it for um synthetic and human hair right so that's good uh, as i said i got us in hair city on henry street that's two stores up from church's chicken on the same side i paid 25 dollars for this and it lasts me two months so how you're going to use this is that i prefer to spray my wigs when i'm not wearing them so how i just put this on i'm not going to spray it now because i have oily skin and of course the oil is going to transfer from the hair to my skin so what i do after i wear this when i come home i'm going to sit down i'll brush out the wig and then i will spray this i'll give it about two three sprays and then i'll just comb that through and it helps to go in and settle so that when i'm ready to wear it it'll, it's looking nice but it's not oily 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 right so that's the next thing that you can do to care for your wigs the um the thing that you need to well that i do when caring for my wigs is that storage storage is a big deal for me totally big deal i don't like to put them back in the original plastic that they come in i used to but i have stopped doing that um instead i would use this like if i um um buy weave i would take them out of that packaging and store them in these because that's great that's as long as i've never worn them before or if i'm traveling and i want to carry a wig i will store it in this but for everyday day-to-day storage i don't use this i actually have the you know the hooks that you hang your towels on i did a haul with one of them you can get it in the ten dollar store i got a four hook towel hanger and so i hang my wigs on that so when i take it off i spray it i brush it through and i hang it on a hook and what that does is that it has it up so that air can go through it and it can you know like breeze out and you know stuff like that so i think that's a cool way of storing your wigs having it up and also open so that a lot of fresh air can just pass through it so um i believe that is it oh another thing um when you have your wigs right especially if it's synthetic or a synthetic mix this wig here, the ends are really nice.
nice because it's brand new but you would see that after um, like about a month or so the ends of the hair is going to start to look like really frizzed and no matter how much of this you put on it or any moisturizer it's not going to come back to natural so I suggest that you get a small pair of hair scissors and you clip the ends gradually not much you're just gonna clip off like about an inch or just the part that starts to frizz so that the ends of your wigs always look nice it's it's like the same thing with your hair you need to clip your ends so that your hair can keep looking nice and healthy which i need to do because my hair is obviously frizzed as you can see but um that's the next thing treat your wig like you treat your hair or in my case I treat my hair really crappy so I treat my wigs better than I treat my hair but it's supposed to be the other way around or on par with each other so I hope that these wig care tips have been useful for you I hope that you have enjoyed them and yeah um of course like rate comment I love the feedback leave a comment below and let me know um, if you wear wigs, how you care for them, or even if you don't wear wigs, let me know, like, you know, give me some advice, like, what, what are some other things that you think I can do to help my wig last longer and look good. So, that's it. Enjoy your day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.